some people love them, some people hate them, and some people just eat them. What am I talking about? Squirrels. Welcome to Georgia Wild, I'm Linda May. Several species of squirrels live in Georgia. The gray squirrel is the most common and most readily recognized, but Georgia is also home to fox squirrels, which can be almost totally black like this one, or they could be mostly gray, but with a black face and white nose. We also have flying squirrels, which are nocturnal and actually glide through the air rather than fly. And in the higher elevations of the Blue Ridge Mountains, you could see a red squirrel. While flying squirrels and red squirrels are considered non-game species, which means it's illegal to hunt them, gray squirrels and fox squirrels are game species that can be hunted during squirrel season, which is typically August 15th through February 28th in Georgia. Of course, you'll need the proper licenses and to follow the hunting regulations. Whether you hunt squirrels or simply enjoy watching them in your backyard, some might look a little lumpy this time of year. From mid-July through October, many squirrels become infested with the larvae of bot flies, which creates tumor-like bumps that some people call warbles or wolves. An infestation's pretty ugly and probably uncomfortable for the squirrel, but it usually isn't lethal. It's just a temporary annoyance. So how does a squirrel get bot flies? Well, adult bot flies, which are fairly small, lay thousands of eggs on twigs and vegetation near the squirrel's home, which could be a tree cavity or a nest, a leaf nest like this one. The eggs get on the squirrel's feet and fur when it passes by, perhaps going in and out of the nest. Then they hatch on the squirrel and the larvae enter its body through its mouth, nose, or another opening. Each larva then migrates through the squirrel's body for about a week. And then it settles just underneath the skin and cuts a tiny hole so it can breathe and excrete waste. Pretty nasty, huh? About a month later, the larva crawls out, buries itself in the soil, and emerges next year, and the life cycle starts all over again. If you see a squirrel with warbles, there's no need to worry. The larvae will be gone in a few weeks, and the squirrels usually heal just fine. If you're a hunter and you harvest a squirrel with botfly larvae, you'll be glad to know that the meat is edible. The warbles only stay in the skin, which is going to be discarded when you clean the squirrel. But if you see bumps that look different from the ones shown in this video, it could be from an illness. So if in doubt, throw it out. If you have questions, you can reach us through our website or by calling a regional DNR game management office. Find the one in your area by going to georgiawildlife.com and clicking the contact us link. That's all for now. Till next time, thank you for helping to keep Georgia wild. Mm -hmm.